<laughs> hey everyone, it's Lennon, and I am introducing my husband Jerry today. Uh, we're going to be doing Lisa and Peggy's 25 more wacky questions. I got the questions on a piece of paper. I have not let him read them, okay? So I think you know about the fart question. Because I, I think, like, who, you know, do you, do you like, dealt, you know, who dealt it, smelt it, whatever? Oh, no, blame the baby. Yeah, yeah, blame yeah. the baby, yeah. yeah. <laughs> or one of them says blame the dog, but blame the dog, blame the baby. Yeah, we'll get there. Okay, so we're gonna get right into it. I don't know if Hubby's nervous, so no. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Maybe I am. <laughs> What's one fun fact that very few people know about you? No. Your open book. Yeah, I mean, honestly. We don't have a lot of people in our lives, like no. people in our lives. So, to the people that are in our lives, we're open books. Yeah. Um, fun fact, I can't go into water. My mm. ears. Yeah. 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 He got his ears rebuilt when he was a when he was a kid. And, uh, no, I, can't, I have to stay away from underwater sources. So. so you'll never be able to scuba dive with me. Nope. In never. this imaginary uh, vacation to the coral reef. Mm-hmm. That will never go on to. It looks beautiful in my mind, though, so. Yeah, we can just imagine it. Yeah. Now, I've never dyed my hair. That's um, a fun fact that not a lot of people know. I'm, I'm trying to go, like, sedate with it. I know? understand. Like, we're not really going into the. Like, that's, like, the only fun fact I have. I can't go into water. Yeah. That's it. Everything else is basically. Are we not fun people? I, I you know. <laughs> Okay. Oh, okay. Well, I'll use okay. a different one. You know, you can probably edit this in there somewhere. Um, fun fact: I could play multiple instruments, guitar, drums. Yeah, like if somebody were just staring at you, they wouldn't know that you. Yeah, that I could sit there and play the bass, the drums. No, you can play any instrument, honey. Yeah. <laughs> like any yeah. instrument. The other night, I was listening to some violin music, and I was like, I was trying to air violin, and he was actually teaching me how to air violin it. <laughs> And I don't think, he, have you ever picked up a violin? Uh, once, but. There you go. So, you were teaching me, I, I didn't care. But you were like, yeah, this goes like this. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, okay, second question. What would you like to do first if you were invisible for a day? Sleep. You don't no, sleep. What, no, yeah, He's exactly. like, okay, look, no, you're a vampire. He, he runs on like four hours of sleep. I run on 12 Give mm -hmm. or take, right? Yeah. But if nobody could find me and I could be by myself, I would just go sleep. I have nobody to ask me questions. Nobody to, to say, hey, there's Jerry. Let me go ask him a question. No. Just hide in the corner and go to sleep. In Catch the corner? Just what? You're going to make a nest? Not in the bed. Not, no. Just, just make a somewhere. Nest in the somewhere that's like, you know, that nobody ever goes into. That's what I would do. <laughs> like right over here. Right over here. Oh, so I, nobody I would bump right into you. Exactly. Exactly. I'd be able to sleep right over there. Wake up, look around the room, sleep right there, just go back to sleep. Okay. I don't actually know what I would do if I was invisible for a day. Because I kind of know the questions cause from watching Lisa and Peggy do it. But, um, like, see, my superpower is I'd want to fly. But uh, you, you said invisibility. No, no, I know. <laughs> I know. Okay, I know. But I'm saying that I never really thought about invisibility because... I always thought, like, in my imagination, like, if I had a superpower, it'd be to fly. So I never really took stock of any other power that I could potentially have. So if I was invisible, I wouldn't want to listen in on, because, I, you know, I think we've had this conversation before. I don't want to hear what other people are thinking. I don't want to hear other people's conversations that aren't meant for my ears. Like, I don't want, I don't want all that. Uh, you can't unhear or something. So I wouldn't be like, I didn't, Lisa and Peggy, like, Peggy, um, talked about going to like area 51 like top secret government well they have talks. thermal radars out there they'll still be able to see you <laughs> hmm i'm just saying fun fact right i didn't know that they have thermal imaging to make sure they don't in have utah yeah. where it's hot as shit yeah <laughs> okay they have thermal imaging out there because where you have uh, like a, a heat so the, shield blanket, you would still see a blue spot on the yellow and red. Yeah. So you would say there's something out there that's cool when it's not supposed to be. Same so thing. the trick would be to be invisible, but also the same temperature as where you're at. Yes. That's how you could be truly undetectable. Yes. So invisible doesn't always mean undetectable. No. 
just means you're invisible on the light spectrum. Oh, okay. Getting science with it. <laughs> That's, That's my thought. I That's just my thought. I don't, like, I don't know what I would do because I don't really have like much of a life that I would know what I would want to go and do. Like, I wouldn't want to be sneaky. That's yeah. sleep. You probably sleep. You'd, you'd be able to go in somewhere and find a spot. And you'd, you'd we'll nest together. <laughs> just sleep. We'll nest together. <laughs> Catch up on some much needed rest. Yeah. We'd sleep for a whole year. And then it'd be like a hibernation. And we'd like wake up and like. Well, maybe not a year, but. <laughs> How long's hibernation? <laughs> Three months. Three to six months, depending <laughs> on some species. <laughs> well, we are bears. I feel like we are bears. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you secretly are you secretly a superhero or a supervillain? We know this about each other. <laughs> we are supervillains, right? Unfortunately, yes. What do you mean unfortunately? Everybody wants to be the superhero, but it takes a lot more and more gusto go to be the supervillain than it does to be a superhero. Yeah, I know because you see, have to know and you, you have to know you're going to be defeated, but still have to come up with a plan to not be defeated. Yeah. And the villain only has to win once. The yeah. hero has to keep winning yeah. to continue to be the hero. Mm -hmm. And you have to have one master plan as a villain. Not a whole bunch of plans, not a whole bunch of monsters you're facing. You just you're it's just you and this hero battling it to the death, you know? Well, yeah, I mean I'm not talking like Joker status, I'm talking like, you know, <laughs> Lex Luthor, like constantly going in there. And, and, As he was, and, we talked about this before, you'd be Riddler. Yes, I would definitely be the Riddler. He would bring the fun to the villain status. So he'd be like a jokester. Yes. But no, 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 not really a jokester. Like sarcastic. You'd be sarcastic, but still have like this evil under lurking thing, right? It's called Two-Face. <laughs> They're in the same movie. Yeah, I know. <laughs> But I don't know what kind of villain I would be. Like, you know, you think about like a Black Widow or... I wouldn't be that. Well, because Black Widow's a superhero. No, <laughs> no. I mean the Black Widow like the Black Bride that kills her husband. Isn't that called a Black Widow? Yeah, she's a Black Widow, yes. That's what I'm saying. She, like, she kills her husband. I wouldn't do that. Okay, but we talk about super villains and superheroes. Who were the super? Who were the girls super villains? Canary, Black Canary from DC. Um, okay, so your 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 thing is that you want to go like DC Marvel. I don't no, know I, if they're this, this, those are all heroes. There aren't any no, like Harley Quinn. Is she Harley a villain? Quinn, she's a villain. Yeah, I wouldn't be like her. No, you wouldn't. So that's the reason why I was trying to stick to the Black Canary. You're you're. You Who's know, the Black Canary? She uses. Sonic vibrations to like disrupt and do everything she needs to do. So, so she's like a big whale? She no canary, bird. Sing. <laughs> like a bat? No, like a bird. Okay, okay. But canaries don't use sonar like no, bats do. She's not using sonar, she's using the screech of her vibrations to destroy things. Okay, so like the scene in Shrek when he's like, Oh and the bird explodes? Yes. Okay. Sort of like that. Okay. Like the Barracuda of She of uses her voice to destroy things. You think I have that kind of power? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Next question is probably your favorite. There's a zombie apocalypse. Walmart. What? <laughs> <laughs> he already knows because we've had this discussion. He'll literally start. He'll initiate a conversation and be like, so I'm, I'm choosing Walmart. And this is why. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And he'll go into his apocalyptic, apocalyptic master plan. Mm -hmm. um, what skill will you use to survive it? So a skill that you already have. Mechanical skills. Building and... Like engineering. Yes. My, yeah. my mechanical skills. Using a... Um, now, he's already said Walmart is his... Um, what? It's got food resources and it has deterrence and it has... Uh, Clothes, weapons. Weapons, armors. It has... Um, everything you need to build a barricade. It also has, for some of those who might get it, weighted scales that are electronic that have uh, pressure sensors. You can create something with those, I'm just saying. I don't know if we can say that on the day. I don't know if you can say it or not. You didn't say anything, though. No, I did not but say Hopefully anything those people, the other super villains will, might, might get what he's trying to say. <laughs> just a thought. So it's like, all my boys are engineers that way. 
Y'all be making zombie apocalypse weapons. Anyways. Yeah. So you're, you'll are you use engineering. Mm -hmm. What are my skills? I'm good thinking in the moment. Remember that time that we had to get into the bunker? Because we were going to get, we were going to get caught doing something. And I was like, get in, get in the fucking bunker. Get in the bunker. What bunker? Like the, we were in the creek. And the, the truck was coming by. Oh, we threw ourselves underneath. Yeah, it's, yeah, it was my idea. I, so it was like it's not a bunker, but yeah, it's whatever. It's, I'm thinking the like bank. complex doors <laughs> and bank. everything else. I'm like, <laughs> I don't remember a bunker. The bank, the, the bank of the creek. Yeah, and we were like somewhere we weren't supposed to be. Yeah, and I was like, get the get in the bank. That's what I said. Get in the bank. Like there's a little like bank, like a little hidden part. Yeah, and that was my here. idea. Like I feel like I have good ideas in the moment, not. But I, I won't go as far as to say that I'm good under pressure. No. But. But you're solid under pressure. That's the same thing. No, you're solid. You're, you're not good, <laughs> but you're solid. You're not going to break. No, I'm not going to break. You're not going to break. No, I'm not you're a breaker. You're solid under, under pressure. Yeah. But until something else comes up sometimes, sometimes, until you have somebody comes, hey, let's do this. And you're like, oh, yeah, let's do this. Thank that. God. <laughs> yeah. Thank God. But you're not going to break. <laughs> okay. Uh, what do you want to be in your next life? A dog. Really? Yeah. You get love, care for, food. All you gotta do is run you, Okay, okay, ball. okay. But let's be clear. You want to be an owned dog. You want to be like the toys from Toy Story. You want to be owned by somebody. You don't want to be just some feral mutt running the streets looking for like uh, foil paper food in the trash bins. Right? I don't know. I just thought the first thing that popped in my mind. I thought that's what we're supposed to be doing here. Okay. If not, it's a human. I want to come back as a human in my next life and, and, and be a billionaire. I mean, be the next uh, Bill Johannesburg Gates or something. I don't know. But you would be a good billionaire. Would you be a super villain billionaire? If, I, no, I'd definitely be Batman. Using your, using your like, skills if, if for If I came back with good. the same personality type that I have now, I would definitely try to be Batman. Yeah. Okay. I may not be very good Batman, but I try. Why wouldn't you be a good Batman? Because I don't know what my next body is going to be doing. <laughs> Batman. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, I'm all for it. You know, come back as, as Rodney we need, McKay we, we need, instead yeah. of Ronan Dex, you know? That's yeah. The idea. We need fat Batmans. So, that's what I'm just saying. Okay. And my dad used to always tell me that the only skill you need in life is to be able to pull your body weight up. Okay, okay, listen. In, 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 in throw, you know my dad. Okay? I know your dad. But, like, if you're hanging on a ledge, you need to be able to pull your body weight up over the ledge, not just hang there for all eternity. He was like, that's a major skill, life skill that you need. I can't do it. But, I mean, it's, it's good to know that I need that someday. Yeah, I mean, it is a good skill to have. Okay, so you said... Human or dog, billion is a Batman if, if, if or dog. Back, if I come back in the next life and I can be Batman, I'll choose to be a Batman. I'm just trying to be honest with you. But if I can't choose, if, we, if what, like you know exactly what I'm going to be in my next life as far as human goes, then why would I come back as human? Humans just destroy as, as they create. I know. Well, dogs they say, just really just provide. When's the last time you ever seen a bad thing about a dog besides that Cujo? time that one came? That time that one like around the corner was chasing those two kids and one of the little boys had to get in front of his little sister before she got mauled and all of his like half his face and arm is gone okay you're in a neighborhood that means there was a bad owner not a bad pet i don't know if it was feral or a known dog i just know that he wasn't like he he must have gone rogue or something right you can have bad owners that abuse dogs and it turns them into that okay i'm just okay that's the so last no, i don't want to be a dog now i don't i, I, I don't want to be <laughs> I, don't, I, don't I know you're evict. not going to be like mulling kids, but... Yeah, no. Um, safe. A bird. Just come back as a bird. That's mine. There you go, bird. I, but I would be a hawk. And see, I really thought that I would be like a cool bird, like a like a, like a a crow or something. But I want to be a hawk. I want to have really good eyesight. I want to have some, like, their precision skills. I'd be a peregrine falcon then. Why do you have to be bigger than me? It's smaller than you. Oh. Why do you have to be better than me? Why is it it's... a peregrine <laughs> Why? Why do you have to be the better bird? It's the it's the it's the Merlin bird. No, it is. Yeah, the silver winged peregrine falcon. Are we owned falcons? 
like someone like has like See, you're are we stipulations in the Okay, okay, that. okay. <laughs> okay, we're just free falcons out there, okay? Yeah. I'm a, a a hawk and you're a falcon and we're just riding the wind, okay? That's what our next life is. Some people say in reincarnation terms, um some believe that in the next life, yeah. you're you come back as something that was reflective of how you lived this life. Right. So That's okay. So my falcon, yes. Yeah. Okay. You won the lottery. We talk about this a lot, too. <laughs> you won the lottery. Will you keep your job? Why or why not? Yeah, I'd keep my job because you're not dictating how much it is actually being won. I could win the lottery for 50 bucks, or I could win the, lot, the billion dollar oh, jackpot. Philosopher over here, okay? So I'd keep my job. Now, if I had all the money from, you know, you six and a half if million you dollars, quit your job. I would quit, yes. Okay. Same. Well, what would we do with our time? Well, you, uh, he, he, he would be playing music, I, writing yeah, your book. I'd have a studio. I would have yeah. a garage to build cars. I would yeah. actually start building a mechanic shop. Like restoring. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, I mean, like all of his hobbies. And then I would have an art studio mm -hmm. and I would like paint and draw. And, um, yeah, I would still have all my hobbies too. It would just be like a hobby loving life. Mm hmm where we could just do what we want and like devote most of our time to raising kids and hobbies. Yeah. Sounds great. <laughs> How many times do you hit the snooze button before getting up? He has, now, okay, hush, hush. He has, he has his phone. Two phones. Yeah. It was, I was going to tell him. He has his regular phone that he uses. And then he has an old phone that he has like factory resetted and, Puts, put his kept his snooze on that too and then they're not regular it's actual songs okay so one plays one song and then one plays another song and then they'll sometimes they like they, they drown out so yeah he's got multiple snooze buttons mm -hmm. I don't have a timer at all I don't have a I would hit it if I had snooze we're, but we're both neither one of us are morning people no I have never been a morning person we are not morning people, but he doesn't drink coffee. I do like nobody. I can't really function until I've had coffee, but you get up and have like a glass of tea and then you're done. You're, you're up. Sometimes I don't even have that. Within yeah. five minutes. Yeah. Good morning. Or don't talk to me until this coffee starts working. You're the coffee. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the coffee too, but mine's all day long. Don't talk to me until I have my coffee. Then I never have it. I don't want to talk to people. <laughs> I really don't want to talk to people. Okay, super villain. <laughs> when you go well, up, where I the situation where I have at my workplace when I'm running logistics for four different buildings, including everything else, you really just don't want to talk to people. I've developed that mentality since doing that. Just like, just don't talk to me. What do you want? You better be bleeding. <laughs> yeah, you, you be, there better be something flipped over or something. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Uh. <clears throat> What's your favorite thing right now? I guess about your life. Baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The new experiences with the baby. Yeah. He's pretty great. He's like, what, a year, almost a year and a half old? Almost a year and a half, yeah. Yeah. Well, now I feel stupid saying my book. <laughs> you now had I feel the like baby. a bad mom. <clears throat> no, you had the baby. You had that experience. <laughs> I, I'm, well, I it's can't, not, you really, can't I, have babies. We got to the hospital in, in literally split time, and then the baby fell out of you. He's proud of this, okay? When I went into labor, we lived how many minutes from the hospital? 34 minutes, normal traveling time. Normal traveling time, 34 minutes to the hospital that I delivered the baby in. And he got us there in 12 minutes? 12 to 15 minutes, roughly, yeah. Yeah. And a minute earlier, and I would have had him in the car, so... <laughs> and it was the smoothest car ride ever. No bumps, no nothing. I could have my two minute apart contractions in the car with no bumps. Mm -hmm. And it was uh, terrific. So I, every I still way. couldn't get any kind of medication. I had to have him natural, but. So you, you have, when you come to the baby situation, it is a good experience and it's everything else, but you're, yeah. you've already done this two times over. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. So, 
And then, like, right now, it's your favorite thing to, like, come home from work and just, just spend time with the baby. Yeah. Yeah. Because I wasn't, you know. You look forward to that. Yes, I look yeah. forward to the daddy's home. Yeah. Um, because that was, like, his favorite part, is daddy's home. Mm -hmm. And, ah. You get to walk in the door, he throws his hands up in the air, runs to me. Yeah. And um, like I said, I still feel bad saying my book because my book came out, and you're, that's like really exciting. You, like, like again, you're supposed to be proud of your book. Okay. Okay. I, I'm proud for the baby. You're proud for the book, and I'm proud of you for having the book. Okay. We brought up more than one thing. <laughs> True. <laughs> okay. Spider. Wolf. No. It's Again, not, I thought it's we were doing test. the one word it's thing. Not a test. Okay. Spider, kill it, run, or panic until a true hero comes and vanquishes it for you. <laughs> really? I have to, like, <laughs> I have to kill like, every spider in the house. No, I, you I, don't. I kill all the spiders. <laughs> okay. I, I kill all the flying <laughs> insects, all the stink bugs, all the spiders in the house. So that's the so be the true hero, I guess. You're the true hero. Yeah. But sometimes I don't call you. And then you watch it disappear. Like in, inside curtains? Mm hmm <laughs> just, just like watch it go behind the curtain. Mm -hmm. just be like, okay. That's I'm like, I'm not area. calling him for it, another spider. It, it, it'll be a few days before I go back over there for a minute. <laughs> okay. And you have, you've literally changed couches because you've seen a bug over here in this area. And you'll change couches over there. And you're like, uh, yeah, I don't know where it went. I'm going to the yeah. other side of the room. Yeah. Well, I mean, if they're like uh, bad looking spiders, like the ones that look, they look like the they same. can bite. No, they're not. The no, they're not. Some have the really, really long legs and they look, ugh, okay. And then some of the them. ones that don't hurt you. Right. <laughs> okay, but I don't know. I don't know how to tell if one looks like it will bite me or one looks like it's just going to crawl around and, and <laughs> you know. <laughs> 95% of the time, a spider's and we have going the night to crawlers. run away. We have the stink bugs and the night crawlers. Mm -hmm. Those. Oh, the silverfish? Mm -mm. Okay, he's the hero. He's the hero. Uh, what food can you eat every day for the rest of your life? We already know the answer to this, and it got banned from me Costco <sighs> pizza. Yeah. I literally had it every day. Went to the doctor, told him my dietary. They're like, get the crap off that. I was like, oh, okay. So <laughs> now I'm on chicken and broccoli. <laughs> so sad. <laughs> Uh, okay. Yes. Um, but it, if it wasn't a dietary restriction by a doctor, you would. Uh, Costco pizza. I yeah. was. I did. Now, is it because it's so cheap? Because it's like, what, $1.50 no. for a slice it's of pizza? It's $1.99. It's two eighty four after tax where we live. Yeah, and you can't. With the drink. You cannot eat cheaper than that. No. To get full. But okay. it's it's the, Costco does have the best pizza. It has the best, the, the, yeah. the flaky crust, the, the, the crunchy, the the cheese is distributed evenly and you don't have like clumps or anything i mean the pepperonis are laid out in, like he's you... analyzing pizza now <laughs> wow. okay. i can't help it i know that i like <laughs> okay. it's good pizza yeah all right <laughs> normally you get about 12 slices of pepperoni on there then you get a drink with it and you get a pepsi and you go to town with it okay good. and you feel extravagant you get the the cheese and the red pepper flakes and kick it up a notch You done? Maybe. I'm still thinking about Costco pizza. <laughs> we had pizza for lunch. I know, but it was Papa John's. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Oh, can I say Papa John's either? <laughs> we said Costco. <laughs> okay. No ad placements. No ad, no ad. No, we're not plugging ads. Yeah. Whatever you want to call we're, it. Yeah, we're not getting... Uh, no sponsors. We're not yeah, sponsors. Yeah, we're not sponsors. That's what you... oh, we, he would like to be. Yeah. <laughs> You could do Costco food commercials. I would, yeah. At, oh. the, at the food court, you know, with your little drink. Remember when they used to have in the 90s, the, conver the conversations, the commercials that happened in the mall? Yeah. They don't have those anymore. No? Well, we don't know because we, we have <laughs> we streaming got rid of services. Live we don't, TV alone yeah, we don't have there. commercials anymore. Um, no, our, no, our, yeah. Well, we kids, do. We do now yeah, because like of everything ads, else. Yeah. Freaking, you know who you are, people. Sorry. <laughs> The streaming services, they know who they are. Yeah, they've added ads. Yes. Okay. Mine would be bread, probably, of some form of bread, right? Uh, French loaf, the crackle of it. You, you just... 
That yeah, just give me a baguette. Hawaiian rolls. Yeah, no, all bread. Yeah. Yeah, just any form of bread. Mm -hmm. That's my weakness. <laughs> what kind of music do you like? We are not, we are yeah. real. We are real all over the place with our music. Um, you, go, you go from Conway to Conway, not Kanye, uh, to uh, <laughs> if you don't know who that is, please look it up. Um, to Metallica, to Zeppelins, to Foo's, to Fighters, uh, Foo Fighters. Edit that one out. Um, <laughs> Okay. Uh, like, and you're like, but in the rock genre. No, I mean, I, I listen to some of the newer um, Tom McDonald stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. And I listen to the old rap, Tupac, Biggie, uh, Dre, Snoop back in the day. Uh, some of the new rappers, I don't really, you know, when it's all about the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but right. when you actually had meaning in their, in their lyrics, that's what I listen to is meaning in their lyrics. Yeah. Something that make, music that makes you feel good. Like, I'm a hopeless romantic, so I have a lot of uh, R&B that I listen to. Mm -hmm. Some older country, the country that we would grow have grown up on. Um, mostly alternative rock. Uh, not, I like heavy metal, but it's not like I don't always reach for it. That's yeah. Well, that's my number one. Metalhead, metalcore is, is um, falling in reverse. Uh, yeah, those are like our favorites. Yeah. Black Veil Brides. Uh, I know that's kind of bringing the, bringing the horizon. Uh, yeah, um, those are some of the very known bands that I listen to. Otherwise, yeah. it's, it's new metal. Right. Back in the day, I listened to. That's what I'm going for nowadays. Yeah. So, but we have similar tastes, mostly. Mostly, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes we can have music nights where he'll just turn on the music and we'll kind of like have this nostalgia thing because mm -hmm. we've known each other for twenty. Two years? 22 years, yeah. <laughs> okay. Next question. Pool or beach? Well, we both know what we prefer here. He can't go underwater, so he didn't care. <laughs> he floats. I do float very well. He I have mastered well. the, art, the art of floating and treading water. Mm -hmm. I could tread water for a very long time. Yeah. Well, I mean, I would say that I'm more lake than beach person. But... If I had an opportunity to have a pool, I, we've had a pool before, like a little blow-up pool. Um, I loved that thing. We just It was really hard to keep it clean. Yeah. Uh -huh. so, because of the bamboo. Yeah, because we got that bamboo forest in the backyard. And the leaves and all constantly in it. It was the only place we could put it in the yard. Yeah. So. Clean it, and by the time you're out of it, you have 50 petals laying in it, so. Yeah. And by the end of that summer, I was like, no, oh, we're not doing this again. <laughs> so, oh, well, we were going to do it again, but. Well, we, we were going to get a cover. Yeah. yeah. We we're going we're gonna to change it up and get a cover and everything um, else. And, but we had some unfortunate issues, so we couldn't do it. So Yeah. But uh, I would like a pool because it's more. I like the lake. But. I prefer a lake over a beach. Um, well, do you prefer pool over lake? Like having a personal pool that is like only you and your family peeing in it? <laughs> <laughs> I have had a, a pool. Yeah, he grew up with a pool. Uh, we had a, a good sized swimming pool growing up with it. it. It's literally the same as a lake. So, I mean, I'd oh. go pool over beach. Only because beach you have tidal fronts and all the other changing things and Jellyfish. all that kind of stuff. You don't know if you're going to get hit by a storm in two minutes or if you're going to have to, you know... There's just too many variables, and I don't like to yeah. factor in. Yeah. If you get a pool, normally you're near a house, you know, you can just run inside. Yeah. I like that, too. Let's get a pool. Summer's coming up. <laughs> what life or personal goal are you still working on? Memories. I want to have as many memories as possible. You're so sensitive, honey. <laughs> That's my personal goal because we do have some people in my family have a history of having uh, mental dysphagia of mm -hmm. either Alzheimer's or something like that. So I want to collect as many memories as I can and have those for as long as I can. Mm -hmm. That's so sweet and sad. I have no idea what my life goal is. I don't have goals. I'm not a goal person. No. 
Well, you know that about me. I, know. I don't set goals. No, you're ambitious. You you like to go after one project at a time. Yeah. So you don't have like if I have a project, I'm like I'll put all my shit in it. Right. You... All my eggs in that basket. <laughs> yeah. It's it's yeah yes you do. Mm. I can be ambitious, but that those wheels have to like I'll turn the wheels and then they'll just keep spinning as much as I put my work in. But then if the momentum dies, then the, the project dies, and I don't even care. Yeah. I don't have any like goal goals. It's just like whatever I'm working on and passionate about. I put, uh, so, I mean, one big life goal that we both have is that we want to visit or even possibly live in Scotland. Yes, that's another life goal. Um, Someday, we're coming for you. <laughs> I mean, I'm already halfway there. Got the yeah, the red, the red beard. I don't know if you can tell on camera. <laughs> His beard's red. <laughs> I do have red in the beard, yes. Red, brown, platinum. It's not gray, it's platinum, damn it. Okay. <laughs> Is the glass half full or, or half empty? We're, see, this is why we fit, because I'm half empty. And I know this can be a lot fuller, so I'm... It's only half full. You can get more in there. You can get more out of life. You can get more out of the cup. I'm half empty. I'm always looking at the emptier side of the cup. <laughs> I only have that much left. I'm like, I got that much more to put in there. Okay. You get the notion you can always take that glass back to a bigger <laughs> glass, but now it's only quarter full. <laughs> what? Okay. Well, we're opposite, and that's what makes it work. Because when I freak out and like, oh my God, I only have this much left in the cup, you're like, look how much room there's left in the cup. Or whatever you would say. I mean, I wouldn't say it like that, but yeah, I would say how much more do you have to give? I, I can do that. Yeah, something like that. I mean, like the good to my despair. Yeah. Yes, that's what I do. And then if I'm all like, ah, then you're you're real quick to go. Yeah, but if you do butt, this, <laughs> you're, yeah, like when for cooking food, I just go in there and grab like four or five ingredients and come in here and you're like, how the fuck did you make that? I'm like. Grab things. Yeah, he's the, he's the cook in the family. If you're going to say cook, I would just say lunch. You do that for every meal you make. You experiment, and it's like a pinch of this, a, a half a teaspoon of this, and it's like, I don't know how you did that. I like food. Mm. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> All right, here's a fart question. You just farted. Own it, apologize, or blame the dog. It depends on if it's a really stinky one. Mm -hmm. I'm owning that one because everybody's running away from it. But if it was one of those, you know, well, not the dog did it. Okay. You usually own it. Yeah. I actually sometimes will say, you know, is that popcorn I smell? Yeah. He'll, he'll be the one that says, was that a frog? Yeah. Is that a frog? Such dad jokes. What? Yes. Now, I don't, I don't own it, but we have this rule, okay? <laughs> Since, ever since we were first married, we have this rule that if we let out a stinky one, we have to say warning. That way, if we're sitting together snuggling and one of us knows we let out a silent but deadly, mm -hmm. you have to say warning because I haven't warned. Because I will completely deny that I even farted, that I did anything. I'll blank, uh, bluff face. Yeah, straight face. I didn't do that. We're the only two people in the car or room or whatever. Nothing else could have made that. Oh. <laughs> and yeah, he'll be like, you need to say warning. Yeah. And so ever since then, it's been like 15 years. And you're like, and that now every time I'm near him or near any of us, I'll go warning. And then they'll, just, they'll know to back away. Mm -hmm. So. We disperse like cockroaches when we say warning. It's like, Shh, run. So we do have like, uh, there is no blaming the dog because if the warning is said, then we're all good. So, all right. And then this, I think it's the same kind of a kind of line. You blame the dog. Problem is, there's no dog. Now what? Own it. Yeah. You yeah. Own it. Yes, you have to own it. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, but you, who you cares? Know. You'll they'll you'll joke. I'm the only girl in my house. Mm -hmm. So it's really hard for me because I don't want to own it. But all my boys will just be like, yeah, so, oh, I did so that. what? So what? <laughs> or laugh about it. And I'm sitting there like, if I know if it was me, I'll just like hide out or something. Mm 
Oh, you've done that. You, you've done the, the creeper walker and just walked away over there. Mm-hmm. You gotta come over here sitting on the couch going, God, what the hell smells? Look at to sit down and it wafts up mm -hmm. my face. And y'all let me. <laughs> <laughs> like, look at mommy over there. <laughs> okay. All right. Your smartphone breaks. You can't get it fixed for at least a week. How screwed are you? <laughs> work wise, very work wise, very screwed. Yeah, he uses his phone a lot for work. Life, yeah, no, nothing. No. <laughs> I mean, hell, all I ever do sometimes is throw on a black screen with YouTube and just listen to stuff there. So it's like yeah, the or screens. your TV. Like he watches a lot of TV on his phone. Yeah, but other than that, I have you know TV yeah. sources everywhere else. Yeah, I'm not really. I listen to music. I'm resourceful. I'll find a way to either fix that phone or uh, another way of entertainment would disperse to me. Find a, an iPod. We'll find another broken. Yeah, because I have I have my record player uh, that will do the radio. Mm -hmm. um, that me and the baby <laughs> will turn on. That me and the baby will turn on like if I'm wanting to get off my phone for a minute. So we've got methods. Yes. We can turn on music. Um, or go outside. Yes, because I, I do need, I I need to put the generation. hammock. I need to put the hammock up because me and the baby would really like to go, like go sit out there sometimes during the day mm -hmm. in the hammock. Um, so. you no, know, you're talking just phone though. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, mean, I have other entertainment sources that. Right. I have. Yeah. We 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 have enough entertainment that we. Mm. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't have to solely rely on my phone for social media or yeah. anything like that. We're not really on social media that much. Like mm -hmm. I have YouTube, but. Um, and then I'm sometimes on Instagram, but I'm not on any other platforms. Like if I, when I get terribly bored and there's nothing else for me to do because I only, you know, do certain things, I'll grab the guitars out and start making random stuff going on. Okay. Okay. You will. Okay. <laughs> I hope this is for an edit. What were you doing? I was just doing this, looking down. You're like, okay. I was trying to do an edit thing for you. I don't know. You're going to take this out anyways. Next question. Come on. Okay. <laughs> Aliens just landed. They're friendly. What's the first question you want to ask them? <laughs> Why are you going to get him started? <laughs> okay. Can we... I get in that ship? <laughs> Can I get in that ship? Let me get in that ship. Let me go. Come on, get in the ship, please. <laughs> the ship. Okay, but we've had com God. We've had yeah, a lot I'm of these me conversations. Off the fucking planet ship. I'm going. <laughs> You're leaving us all here. No, you'll come with me. <laughs> We're ride alongs. We're tag along. I figure something out. Um, depends on who the alien is. But our favorite, one of our favorite TV shows, is Stargate. So any opportunity that we have to like go visit other worlds, go visit other species, we're there. Yes. You know. We we like we we like them. We like aliens. Come visit. So <laughs> with your ship, so I can. <laughs> yeah, with your ship. Don't just beam down here. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm gonna fly away too. <laughs> um. So that's your first question. Beating me aboard. Yeah, my first thing. Is, question mark. Can your ship? <laughs> can I ride in that ship? That's it. That's really the only question I got for him after that. They're friendly. I mean, they, yeah, they're friendly. That's like I if guess I get... I'm with him. That's my, my my statement question is can can I can I go with him? <laughs> yeah, I cuz I mean think about it. If you had the doctor come down and they had the TARDIS land. That that's a Yeah, we're going with the doctor. Yeah. It's the same thing. That's that's what I said. Yeah. The if, friend if aliens come down. We walked into if we walked upon a stargate, we would do all that we can to dial out. Oh, I, it, yeah, I've, I've watched it long enough to know that if there is a correlation to what is on the show, I would probably still remember probably about five addresses that they dial to, especially Earth's address. I know that one by heart. Well, you can't do all that. You'll get busy signal. Mm. I'm just glad that the aliens are friendly because they could be douches. Mm -hmm. Like, they could be mean. They could be annihilating and wanting to, like, eat us and things. Well, if that's the case, it's going to be Skyline. Now, I thought that your question was going to be so I thought his question was going to be so different. I thought that your question to the aliens was, tell me how you built the pyramids. Mm -mm. 
No. <laughs> now, if you would have said that about eight years ago, it would have definitely been more of, uh, did you build the pyramids? Um, mm -hmm. Have you been here before? Did you wipe out the Egyptians? Uh, y yeah. You know, you got certain things, the Aztec, the Mayans, and everything else that would just disappear Obliterate. overnight. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. just go gone. So there had to be some kind of cultural Pat reference. There was, there. like, some kind of pact. Yeah. That and they, like, their end of the ten years was up, and they just all... Well, you got to realize you also had several different locations that had uh, pyramid-like structures. Mm -hmm. uh, that knew in, nothing of the other cultures. Yeah, yeah. China that had the the, uh, the houses that went up into a, a structure, the yeah, Mayans the ziggurats structure. and... Yes, and, and then uh, you have the Aztecs. Yeah, South America. And then you had the pyramids. You had three different spots that nobody had any kind of connection with, and they all had a similar There's design. pyramids outside of Giza. Mm-hmm, to the lot. So... We only know the tip of the dagger. That's that's right. what we always talk about, is, mm -hmm. is the three. Yeah. So, but of all of those questions, I guess the most, the best one was yours, is can I ride along with you? <laughs> yeah. Dude, where's your car? Yeah. Because cause then once you get on the ship, you can ask them however many questions you want. Yeah, can I get on the ship? Let's just, just after that, I'm, I, I'll figure things out. Yeah. You'll like sneak through the whole ship? Yeah, I'll sneak. Out. If they're friendly, I'm going to try to be up front with them. I'm not going to try to be sneaky because then they'll put a But if they're friendly, light. and okay, what if they don't speak your language? Okay, so... It could be like Farscape, or there could be like some kind of injection where you could all speak the same language. Right. Or you could have a uh, hitchhiker's guide with the earworm that goes into your ear yeah, and yeah. translates everything for you. So, I mean, there's there's multiple things and facets of that sec of examples that you can do. But for me, this the ship. I just want to get on the ship. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm new to Earth. <laughs> Explain tarot to me in five words or less. I don't need to speak. But... Um, <laughs> I would say cards depicting archetypes for self-reflection. If, if I had asked my wife, <laughs> thank you. I was looking at you like, was that a good answer? Yeah, I guess. Y'all, y'all answer. Y'all tell us below if that's a good, that's a good answer to someone who's new to Earth. That's how I use tarot is an, an archetypal self-reflecting way so <sighs> the need for sleep has been cured what are you doing with those extra eight hours <laughs> eight um like you don't sleep because like if i had if never had to sleep again it's like tritonin we don't need to sleep ever again do you, we still have to meditate counterine yeah uh, yeah i do i believe that uh, that you would still have to have a mindfulness uh, uh, exercise. Yes, I do. Yeah. To keep your mental health at bay. I'd, I'd, yeah. I'd probably, right, instead of doing sleeping, I'd probably still do Kelvin Ring to, to reach in to Yeah, we see would have meditative, pro uh, meditative exercises that we would do. Yeah, yeah. I totally agree with that. Um, but that would take up only a little bit of time, though, mm -hmm. each day. I mean, like 30 minutes maybe to an hour uh, each day. So that's seven other, hour, uh, seven other hours that you would do. Then, what I would mean, we do? Um, more sex it's always an option <laughs> that's always an option <laughs> but if everybody's awake all the time it'd be so I know, much more right? difficult I know like, <sighs> like we have to kind of you know closet sex that shit in when the kids are asleep well I'd be building an extra house for those 8 hours that I'm going to have I'd, I'd build an extra what house. we would just leave the kids in this house while we go over to the other house uh, uh, no, I, I built a house for them to be able to go and hang out and do what they want to do with the video games and whatnot, like a shed or something like that. There's, that's the still basement. them in another place without us. Basement, like in the house. I'm not talking about sending them to freaking... To, to, to... Boarding school? Yeah, boarding school. I'm talking about just put them <laughs> in a different part of the house. Give them incentive to going downstairs. That's what I would do. We'd have to win the lottery and, and fix the basement up. If I, had eight hour, if I had the extra eight hours a day, I could do a lot more. But you, a lot of stuff, that if you can just have the opportunity to learn, you'd be able to do a lot for oh. yourself. Oh. So, oh, you no. know. The, I would the, be the research queen. Uh, I would read a whole bunch more. Over the years of my work and everything else, uh, I, I wouldn't have to hire anybody. So all I have to do is get the material as far as lumber goes. And if nobody's sleeping anymore, then factories are constantly producing, which would lower the cost um, because you have more shifts. You can pay less because nobody has to work all the damn time because you don't have to worry about sleep anymore. Yeah, shorter shifts. Shorter Everyone's shifts more happy. And go, yeah, because you have everybody out there. So it would actually 
And it would be union. It would kind of be, it, we could kind of work it like union where everyone could get health insurance. It's really hard here in, in America. Yeah, but uh, union isn't always the best case. No, I'm so, not saying it is. But I'm saying okay. that you could, you could <laughs> diversify your workforce easier, but you would have to also have those stipulations in effect to say you can't engorge your own pockets while this is happening as well. You'd have mm -hmm. to have that kind of line in the sand. Yeah. Because we're starting to see more and more of it in mm -hmm. your no pyramid scheming. Yeah. Yeah. I got agree. Just a thought. Yeah, you've got it all mapped out. I like that. This is why I'm married to him. <laughs> Text messages. Okay, read this. L O L, am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Okay, am I right? Am I right? Or proper sentences only. Proper sentences? Why would you shorthand something that's. Look, we've already went to the hieroglyphic scale, okay? Where you use the modicons and the house and the bird and the eggplants and all the other peaches and shit. We've already went to the hieroglyphic stage. You went immediately to eggplants and peaches. <laughs> Those are the most common ones out there. Okay, so you're not, well, he's not an emoji guy. No, I'm, I'm not. not. Like, I give you a thumbs up and that's it. Barely. Yeah. We talking well, it's mostly shorthand, but not not LOLs or laugh my ass off or any of those. No, oh, I, we will. I will put in LOL if it was funny, but only to let them know that I seen it and mm -hmm. that was it. You know, and instead of doing the K. Okay. But mostly, yeah, mostly it's proper sentences. Yes. Someone, and it's only because I have this grammar goblin of a sister that if I texted her and I'm not punctuating right, she'll, like, send me back an edited text, okay? So, I, I, I gotten, I've gotten used, I've gotten out of the habit of doing any kind of emoji. Well, I, I just do the swipe on it. You know, I get close to the word. Sometimes <laughs> it's there, sometimes it's not. You know, I put in cost, it puts in Cody. I'm like, that's not what I want, cost of material. <laughs> okay. Favorite way to spend the day off, a, a day off. So, we have a day off work. I fill my days with what I want to do, so this is on you. You have a day off. And I, th I would go further that you have a day off that's not a weekend. This is just a day off, a surprise day off. How would, favorite way to spend it? Spend time with the family, I mean, to be honest with you. Yeah, he's it's a family always, man. I never get to spend enough time with you guys in the first place because I'm always working, you yeah. know? Yeah. So definitely want to spend time with the family do more of these maybe maybe <laughs> we'll see how this one goes <laughs> okay uh, i like that <laughs> okay last question say one nice thing about yourself i'm a good listener agree with me agree with me <laughs> I, th I love that about myself I feel like I'm a good listener you are a good listener yeah. because you listen to me rant all the time so without are... saying anything yeah. the, <laughs> you, you can you can you can you can <laughs> but you also can be dragon lady too now in your defense yes for defense. your defense yes that's what I'm saying you could be mama bear protective you could be the the dragon and, and the, the, the trees type thing, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. I am the dragon. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. I forgot. You forgot what? I said the dragon and the tree shit. And he was like, I am a dragon. And I was like. Yeah. I was thinking crouching tiger, hidden dragon. Oh. But yeah, but you know my last favorite animal is a dragon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just, it's just, I was thinking of a reference to actually put in there. <laughs> and I was like, how, crouching tiger, hidden dragon. And I was like, you know, dragon in the tree. <laughs> Um, what was the question? Say one nice thing about yourself. He's bad at this. What? You're bad at looking at the good. Like, you're half, half full kind of guy, but you can't say, I love this about myself. And it doesn't say love about yourself. It says, say one nice thing about yourself. What is something about you that you like? Safe, safe, safe thing. Okay, I know what you're thinking. 
I know what you're thinking, okay? Now everyone else knows what you're thinking, <laughs> all right? Make it safe for work. I didn't say anything. No, I know what you're gonna say. Well, I wasn't gonna say that either. Yeah, you were. I have no idea what you're thinking. Yeah, you were. I really don't have a good quality about me besides being. That's not true. Yeah. Uh, besides, I'm always been the guy to give you the shirt off my back. I always look out for everybody else before I put them first, and that's how I've always yeah. been. Yeah. Yeah. I've always put everybody else first. And we are so different in that capacity. God. Yeah. I mean, I, I try to do as much as I can to help everybody else to bring everybody else up to a good level. Yeah. Um, I've always been that way. Thanks, oh, Mom. yeah. Giving money to... Oh, the come on. It was one time. Oh, okay. <laughs> I wasn't thinking that. Okay, I was. Well, uh, yeah. As an aside, like way back, far yeah, back what, in my head. What did you have today for lunch that day? You, Sonic? Yeah, exactly. You know every little detail about what we did that day. I'm not mad. Say that to your face. <laughs> he gave the last <laughs> money we had... To some drunk, belligerent, he was not drunk or asshole belligerent. that was, was like, "I need a new motor for my truck." He, he had every a last cent that we he that we had. A battery, and he was a little shy on getting the battery, and and the next time we saw him, he did what? Never seen him again. Yes, we did. I didn't see him again. We saw him get in his truck that needed a battery and drive away. And drive away without a battery. No, he had the battery. I thought we saw him coming out of the liquor store. No, I don't know where that came from. He was the Sonic and the AutoZone place was right next to each other. Yes. We were sitting there getting our food in the Mazda. He came over and was asking people for things, and then he was he had his book, his Bible, and all that kind of stuff in his hands. And he went inside the store. He got a battery. He came back out and he put it in his car and he left. He gave me a card and all that kind of information. It was just, you know. Anyway, he also said he would pay us back. And I don't. If you always want to be repaid, then you should never give out money. It's not that. It wasn't that. Okay. I, I know that you were doing that out of the goodness of your heart. I had okay? the money to spare. We didn't have the money to spare. It was all the money we had. We had at that time. Yeah, on us, cash. Uh huh. We didn't even have a bank account at that point. Yeah, we had we like fifty dollars in your wallet. That was all the money we had to last us the rest of the week until payday. And you gave it to that guy. No, I did not. I would never give away my last dollar when I have kids to feed. That's not going to happen. So we still had okay. We still had money. Okay, I must have played that way up in my head. You prop. You had twenty years to build it up. Yeah, probably. <laughs> But no, it wasn't that bad. We had money. Uh, it was I could spare. Maybe it. I was just, but I have learned to be a little bit nicer in, over the years. Like back then, I was really mean. I had no faith in humanity. I didn't want to give anybody anything because I always thought because how my parents taught me how to live that no one else was actually like if he said he was going to buy a battery, I would immediately think, uh, no, you're using that to go buy drugs because that's how I was raised. Yeah, that's understandable. Um, but I've gotten a lot better about that. Yeah, that the the reason why I'm always the giving type is because my mom was, you know, always trying to give an back. Over-giver. She was overgiver, and that's yeah. where I got it from. I was an overgiver. She was an overgiver. Her. You gotta have a gag reel for it. You know what I mean? <laughs> you probably won't. I'll just probably not even edit this. You ain't sneaking that in there. <laughs> oh, okay. That was the, that was all. Did that's you have it? fun? Yeah. Did I have fun? Did you have fun? Yes. Much fun. <laughs> He's lying. Are you lying? No, Look, I actually have I don't fun. know how many of my peeps will see this. Uh, no, my peeps. My, my people over my YouTube channel will see you for the first yeah, time. For the first time, yeah. Maybe or maybe Isn't not the last handsome? time. Isn't he handsome? Is he so... <laughs> Is he so cute? <laughs> Can I be playful? <laughs> you are playful. And that annoys me. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. I love you. I love you too. I guess he's going to get up now. Yes, I am going to get up now. So you can do your exit interview. Exit interview? Yeah, whatever you're going to do. Okay. All right. Now, that was 25 more wacky questions from Lisa and Peggy. I hope Lisa and Peggy watched this, uh, that I was able to convince hubby to come along with me and answer these questions. Some of these that some of these we really do talk a lot about. So uh, it was real easy to have these kind of conversations. But I hope you all enjoy. Let me know below. If y'all are going to be doing this, whoever else is doing the tag, let us know below so we can go watch and get to know everybody.
I hope everyone's having a great day. Much love.